guys, it's Shelby. Welcome back to my channel. Today I am super, super excited. I'm going to be doing my monthly empties video. They're one of my favorite videos to film. Pretty much my favorite video. I just love the feeling of going through all the stuff that I finished fully up and reviewing it for you guys because I know my opinion on it because I, for the most part, I use up all of the product in these things. So, uh, like I said, I really, really love these videos. I am really, really excited to get into this video. Without further ado, let's just get into this video because these always seem to be one of my longest ones. So, okay, the first thing I'm going to show you because I did not finish this. I believe this is the only product that I did not use fully and I'm throwing out. This is the Bath & Body Works Pleasures and this is the Fresh Vanilla Body Splash. I don't even know how old this is. I don't even think they sell this anymore, especially this packaging. I was using this as a room spray for my bathroom, but it's really, really strong and also I believe because it's so old just the scent of it is really really nasty and super super strong to the point where it's like it makes me cough every time I spray like one even one tiny little spritz in my bathroom time for this to go bye bye the next thing I just finished this when I took a shower right now so that's why it's out of the bag this is the Octavia grab me scrub me rinse me this is their scrub. This one is the strawberry scents and I have a couple of these left still. I have two more left and these were actually sent to me. This was amazing. It took me forever to finish it. I'm really, really excited. I love exfoliating my body before I shave and all that good stuff and this is actually really moisturizing too. There were a couple of days where I just used this and then when I got out of the shower, I forgot to put on lotion but I felt perfectly moisturized. It was awesome. So, and this, the best part about this too is it also did have chunks of like strawberries in it. So that was really, really cool as well. And they didn't get stuck in my drain or anything, which was a plus because they broke down super, super easily. So yeah, I loved this. I definitely would repurchase some more after I get through all the rest of my scrubs that I have. And these are the Clean and Clear Makeup Dissolving Facial Cleansing Wipes. And these are the oil-free ones, and there's 25 in here. So this took me about a month to use up. I pretty much use them every day, and then I wash my face. I liked these a lot, but I have tried ones that are better, I believe. So I wouldn't repurchase them right now, and I also do have a back stock of these as well. I did like these a lot, but when I had like full, full, full-on face... It did take me two wipes to get it all off, but most of the time, because I wash my face after, I would just use one and then get the rest off with um, washing my face. But that was only when I had like a full, full on face. But yeah, these were pretty good, and I believe they were only like $5, like the normal price for makeup wipes, but... I do like other ones better, like the Neutrogena and the Elf ones, and the Elf ones are cheaper. The next thing, this is the Batiste Dry Shampoo, and this one is in Fruity and Cheeky Cherry, and I liked this. I liked the scent that it put in my hair, but this does have a white cast, so I, I definitely would repurchase the Batiste brand, but the next time that I repurchase them, I want to get the one that's made for brunettes. I do love this. It does make me my hair feel a lot better. I just hate, hate, hate the white cast because especially when I have like zero time to do anything and I just spray that in my hair. Sometimes I won't do it all the way. This I've had for a really long time too just because you barely need any of this and you are good. So even with the amount of hair that I have, this is the Garnier Fertise Style Pure Clean Soothing Cream and it's 24 hour First control is supposed to have zero heaviness and it is in strong. Like I said, you just need a, the tiniest little, tiniest little thing. Put it all in your hair. I did it when my hair was almost dry, like damp, and it felt really, really nice. It did reduce my frizz, but I did use other stuff in conjunction with this to reduce my frizz. I definitely liked this. Like I said, it took me forever though, so I'm really happy that that is done. The next thing is a soap. This is from Bath & Body Works, and this is their Winter Cranberry, and this is the foaming one. 
This smelled really, really good. Perfect for this season, and it worked really, really well. I love them. I love these soaps forever repurchasing them, especially during, like, when they have really, really good sales on them. Definitely, 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 definitely would repurchase this scent if they come out with it again. And the next thing is also by Bath & Body Works. This is the shower gel in Merry Berry Christmas. I love this. I am finishing up the lotion in this right now. Look out for that. Yeah, this smelled so good. I like the soaps. I am like true to my Bath & Body Works shower gels. The, the original price for these is like $12 now. But if you get them on semi-annual sale like I do, then they're way cheaper and you can get them for like under $3. It's very much worth it. And I use this as a bubble bath as well sometimes. I loved it. It's a berry scent, so obviously I'm going to love it. And I definitely would have purchased that scent again if it came back out. Next thing, this is the Skin to Mitts Signature Scents Moisturizing and Hydrating Shave Gel and this is in Strawberry Tangerine Twist. I loved this scent. I do like to mix up the scents a little bit so I'm using a berry one I believe right now but this one was amazing. I am fully on Skin to Mitts. I love it and the bottles are only like two or three dollars. They're amazing. I will forever be repurchasing this. I wish I didn't go through them so quickly but it's not that big of a deal because they're only two or three dollars. The next thing, this also took me forever. This is the Crabtree and Evelyn La Source Hand Cream and this is their Ultra Moisturizing Hand Therapy Cream. I loved this stuff. I squoze every single little ounce of hand cream out of it. It sat on my vanity right here and every time that my hands felt a little bit dry, I would just put a little bit on and put it on and it felt so good. So creamy, so rich. I don't remember where I got this. I think in a beauty box. Once I get through a couple of my hand creams, I definitely would look into maybe possibly getting this again. It smelled good, pretty florally and a little bit musky. It wasn't an old grandma scent or anything like that, but it really smelled really good and I liked it. It was very, very moisturizing. The next thing is by Jouer and this is their conditioning lip treatment. And this is just a sample that I got from the beauty box. I loved this stuff. The only thing that I hated about it, this is so sticky. Just because of how sticky it was, I won't be repurchasing it because I couldn't stand how sticky it was. But I loved how moisturizing it was. So if it wasn't so sticky, I would definitely repurchase it. But I just, I can't. It was so sticky. It always got everywhere. And I hate tube applicators like this too, so that didn't help its case at all. I feel like it just gives me too much and I just, uh, I can't, I can't do that. I can't deal with the stickiness. This is the Eva NYC and this is the Freshen Up Dry Shampoo. I loved this. It was perfect because I did a lot of traveling, so this came with me and it was awesome to just spray it in my hair and I was good to go. Smells really florally, so love it so much. My boyfriend was even like, your hair smells really good. So yeah, I would definitely, once I get through a couple of my dry shampoos, I would think about getting the full size of this. The next thing, this is the by Aveen, and this is a sample of hydrating serum, and I liked this a lot. I would put this on before I put on my makeup, and then also sometimes at night as well. When I woke up in the morning, I had a lot of moisture on my face, which was nice. It felt like I had nothing on. It felt so good on my skin. Super, super soft because it's a serum. And it was really, really hydrating. So, definitely look into getting the full size of this because it was awesome. Next thing, this is the Lush Pink Dragon Fruit Bath & Body Works Travel Size Lotion. This smelled really, really good. I loved it. I love all fruity scents. I just stink at describing scents. But this was amazing. I would definitely repurchase. It. I, I don't know if they're going to come out with this line of scents again this year because this is an older scent, but hopefully they do because I loved this. The next thing, this is the Sephora Stick Super Nourishing Lip Balm. Super generic and basic. It was just a clear lip balm in stick form from Sephora. It reminded me a lot of the baby lips, so that's one of the reasons why I bought it and it was super cheap, so I liked it. I used it up all the way. It was super, super nourishing and moisturizing. 
definitely would repurchase it again. And then I have a sample of the Benefit Their Real Push-Up Liner. Dud. I didn't like this at all. I felt like it did nothing for my eyes. I just... I. I didn't like it. It's in black, by the way. I feel like it dried up super, super fast. I just don't like it. And I didn't like the applicator in either. It was just weird. I do you like their mask benefit, their real mascara, and their lash primer? Just don't like this. I, w I wouldn't, I wouldn't even think of buying this. That's really happy that I was able to test it out before I bought it because I would have been really mad if I had got the full size. Okay, the last couple things. I finished up a lot of candles, you guys. I finished four this month. That is crazy, but a lot of them were like kind of halfway down and then so super easy, but the first one is a mini candle. This was the pumpkin pie candle by Luminescence and it was so cute. It burned pretty far down for a baby candle. I liked the smell of it. I burned it along with the next candle that I'll show you and they smelled so good together. It smelled like a bakery in my house. It smelled so good. Not too sure about the pumpkin scent by itself though because I'm not really a pumpkin person. The next candle was amazing. I had heard so many things about these candles and this is the Better Homes and Gardens candle and this is the Spiced Apple Reef. Guys, I loved this. I'd heard so many good things. These are only like five bucks at Walmart and look at how big this is. This is 18 ounces. A Bath and Body Works candle is 14.5 ounces and they are usually $24, $24.50 and these are five dollars and they're more and also it burned pretty much all the way down look at that that is crazy this thing lasted me so long i was like oh my god why is it dead how is it not dead like this lasted me so long i loved it but jeez i towards the end i was kind of like can you can you die can you die please it still smells so good i could probably put this on my wax warmer and it probably would stay for like a couple more months but it smells so good i love apple scents and it was just the perfect time to burn this it was a warm scent it was awesome i could leave this on all day and it wouldn't be super overwhelming that's what i liked about it it wasn't super strong so it was kind of nice between all the strong scents that i had going so going from a not so strong smelling candle to a very strong smelling candle this guy finally died. I've had this for a year now. This is the Salted Caramel Corn Candle from Bath & Body Works. I love the lid. It's a fall candle and it's from last year. This thing is so strong. Oh my god, it's so sweet. I'm like dying right now just even smelling it because it still has a lot of smell left in it. I was just so happy that it died. I had to burn this with a second candle to calm it down a little bit because I couldn't do it, you guys. It was just so strong. I'm not even usually sensitive to smells like that, but this made me very, very sensitive to smell. I liked it. I'm happy that it's done. I've had it for over a year, so even though it's the wrong season to finish that, really happy that I finished it. And the last candle that I finished this month, this is again by Bath & Body Works, and this is the Dashing Through the Snow candle. I love the little penguins, so cute. And the lid is adorable. This smelled really, really good. The notes on this is breathe in the crisp, cool air of, of a holiday sleigh ride with a big blend of green balsam, wintry musk, and the jingle of sparkling citrus. I wanted to use it up before the winter ended, and I'm also using up one of my last wintry candles right now. I love this little guy. It was awesome. It smelled so good. I definitely would repurchase this again. It burnt down really far, so I'm happy with it. So yeah, guys, those are all of my empties for the month of February. Let me know down below what you've used up this month. If you like this video, please give it a big thumbs up. If you have one of these videos, be sure to link it down below so I can go check it out. Be sure to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already, and... I hope that you guys have been loving all these videos as part of March Madness. And I hope you guys are having an amazing, amazing day. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Bye, guys!